Hello friends, just a quick video today. Uh, obviously, it's been a busy day. <laughs> I got the Steam Deck uh, around 11, and I spent several hours downloading stuff, and then I did a, I did do a test stream earlier, I just uh, hadn't got my daily video quota out. I deleted that stream because I had some problems. Uh, I was getting frustrated because uh, the shader cache is kind of a really big problem when you have a 64-gig uh, a Steam Deck like I do. Now, I do plan to uh, upgrade the internal memory to an NVMe. Uh, I could probably do that as soon as next week, because NVMe's are, like, dirt cheap now, if you didn't know. <laughs> but I'd have to find somebody to do it, and uh, that's going to be the harder part, obviously. So I downloaded uh, a couple games. Uh, I tried out a bunch of these. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take requests. Uh, if you have any of these that you want to see first... Uh, you can go ahead and let me know. But what I plan on doing is... Uh, I'm going to be making a big edited video about uh, some of the best action games to play on the deck. We've got a bunch of them here. Uh, Assault Spy, DMC5, got Dust Diver, uh, Helvetti, which is the game that uh, made the Steam get made getting the Steam Deck possible <laughs> because they sponsored me. That actually works fine on the deck, even though they obviously have not tested it because it's not out yet. Uh, I don't even think the developers even have access to a Steam Deck. Uh, KOF 15. Uh, Getsu Fumaden actually works pretty well. So I've tried the majority of these games. I'm sure some of you are probably wondering about the Muso games. Uh, let's go ahead and go on my... I've got everything neatly organized in here. Uh, I tried War Warriors Orochi 4. I get a pretty large amount of stuttering. It's, it's pretty annoying, but... Uh, I did manage to mitigate it. I might have to uh, tweak the settings a little bit. If you look through here, actually, the vast majority of the, <laughs> at least the Koei Tecmo Muso games, which is like probably like 90% of the Muso games available on Steam, uh, they're unsupported. Uh, some of them will boot, but you will have to fight with them quite a bit. Um, I know these are what people want to see the most, because uh, a lot of these games do have Switch ports, but they're pretty bad. Uh, Pirate Warriors 4 port barely runs. Samurai Warriors 5 is pretty choppy as well. Fade Extella Link is uh, non Koei Tecmo. I don't know if this works or not. I heard Dynasty Warriors 9 does work, but I guess you have to fight with it quite a bit. Uh, so, I guess Warriors Rochi 3 works as well. I didn't have time to download that today. Uh, basically, I had to re download all the shader caches because I have the shader caches running off the micro SD card right now because uh, if you have only a 64 gig uh, Steam Deck it's not really a bad thing because you can basically just give yourself uh, an NVMe and mod it in there and it will be cheaper and have more storage than the uh, the 512 SSD that you can get. So that's what I plan on doing it's just obviously I've been really tight on money and stuff so I wasn't able to do that just yet. So, uh, it'll probably be, I, I estimate, another day or two. Uh, I will download a bunch of these games to save time. Uh, I'll look at some videos of other people running these and see if I can just copy their settings. But uh, there's a lot of really good action games that run, like, almost perfectly on here. Uh, I tried uh, I tried Ninja Gaiden. Sigma 2 uh, actually works pretty much perfectly. Uh, River City Girls 2. Ironically, it's still not fixed on console. It's still running like barely 30 FPS. So, <laughs> uh, if you install the the public beta public uh, beta branch, you can play that in 60 FPS. Uh, I tried Ultra Age. Uh, this actually says it's unsupported, but it actually ran just fine. It's just it defaults to really low settings, so uh, I'll probably have to tweak that as I go. Uh, Marvel 3 works fine. Uh, I saw some videos about East 9, actually, and some people were saying that it, it ran pretty poorly. Uh, they did do a performance update a while ago, and I guess it reduced the CPU usage. Uh, I was able to fight in town and barely drop any frames. I just tweaked the settings a little bit. Uh, Skull actually works fine as well, so if you have a Steam Deck and you like Skull the Hero Slayer, uh, I recommend downloading the game and buying it from Steam because these guys take like a good month to uh, port to the Switch. So <laughs> uh, it's actually probably one of the biggest upgrades on here. Uh, KOF 15 also works fine as well. 
uh, you do get a little bit of minor stutters when you uh, do like a super for the first time. It's on Unreal Engine 4, so that's to be expected. But uh, it just works out of the box. Uh, they say it's playable for a reason. <laughs> uh, you pretty much just just boot it up and it works. So I guess I'll show like uh, we'll show like one game, and then uh, I will have to re-download all the shaders, and I'm gonna get a bunch of other games as well. Uh, for what else I'm gonna get? Uh, apparently DNF Dual works, so I'll probably do a test of that. Uh, Marvel Infinite I want to try, KOF 13, apparently Grid works fine, Skullgirls, Soul Calibur apparently works fine as well. Most of the fighting games seem to have a pretty high success rate of working, uh, it's just the problem is some of them have anti-cheat, like uh, Dragon Ball Fighters has anti-cheat, so if you try to load it, uh, it'll freak out because it can't load the anti-cheat on Linux, I guess. Uh, so that's it for fighting games, uh, for hunting. I hear Monster Hunter Rise works pretty well. God Eater 3 I want to try. Uh, Xenoverse 2, I'm not exactly sure if that works or not, because that also has uh, easy anti-cheat. Uh, Tokiden 2? Uh, couple games in here I wanted to try. Uh, probably Double Slayer, Critadel, Makita Blade. Uh, Monolith, a few others in here. So let's, uh, just so this isn't completely uh, just me talking, let's go ahead and load up KOF, since I know that that works. <laughs> so actually I'm not running off the dock right now, I'm running off uh, just a USB-C to HDMI adapter, which I use for my mobile content. Now ironically, when I do my mobile content, uh, it drops frames a lot. It doesn't drop frames, but what it does is the, the signal cuts out. But I use that same adapter on here and it works fine, so something's clearly wrong with my phone. The King of Fighters 15. Alright. They've got my namesake in this game, but I heard he got nerfed. <laughs> Apparently he was like one of the best characters, but I wasn't really playing much of the time. Select order. Uh, setting this up was completely painless, by the way. Like, I pretty much just, Let's see how this just downloaded it and it worked. <laughs> A lot of Steam games, uh, you try to run them on the deck, you have to really configure them to either work at all or just tune the performance. But, uh... It seems like this game actually has like custom Steam Deck settings, so it just kind of works. Ready? Go! Yeah. 
I don't know what resolution this is defaulting to, but it doesn't look too bad. It looks, it looks above what it would look like on the Switch, pretty much. <laughs> Just a bad thing. Switch is uh, 720p native resolution. Alright, so there's a match. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing more of this later, but I want to look at my download section here. Look at my download section here. I got like a ton of stuff I need to get the shader caches for. Now, I've heard that if you load the shader caches uh, off the SD card, there's problems, but so far I haven't really experienced any issues. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be to reverse that decision uh, once I get the NVMe modded in, but I got to pay like a good hundred bucks for that and then find somebody local that can install it. So <laughs> uh, I'm not really experienced with the guts of electronics, so I don't know when that will happen. For now, it's probably a temporary solution at best, but I have a one terabyte micro SD card in here, so should be able to run everything. Uh, I want to do emulation as well. I want to try uh, probably mostly just PS3 emulation because my phone can already run everything up to PS2 and even some like smaller uh, Switch games. So I don't really feel like it's necessary to go through all that. Uh, it's going to take me at least probably another day, if not two days, to reinstall everything. And then I'll have to make all the clips for uh, the benchmarks, which is really easy to do on the, the Steam Deck, by the way, because there's uh, a little performance overlay that you can uh, just put on natively. Uh, actually, editing the video won't be a problem. I'm just going to make like separate clips and then just drop them in a, movie, uh, a video editor and then just uh, render it. That won't take too long, but reinstalling everything is going to be kind of a nightmare. So if you have any specific requests, go ahead and let me know. And uh, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. So, thanks to... I should go ahead and shill here for a little bit. <laughs> thanks to the guys who made Helvetti. Uh, they were the ones that sponsored me for a video. Uh, I believe there's an embargo for a while. So, uh, I don't know when that sponsored video will be up. But I think for fun, I think we will just do it on the Steam Deck. Uh, I'll, be a <laughs> I'll be a double whammy video. I'll play through the whole game. And then I will also uh, play through it on Steam Deck. Thanks for watching.